Hey everybody, it's Mark Addison, and today I'm going to share with you my go-to holiday cocktail, the Palm Pear. It's not only delicious, but it's so easy to make and make ahead of time, which is key to entertaining like a pro, especially during the hectic holiday season, or as I like to call it, the holidays. Now, although nutrition might not be the first thing you think of when you reach for a cocktail, the Palm Pear is loaded with antioxidants and other nutritional ingredients like pomegranate juice, green tea, honey, and refreshing ginger. And in this series, I'm going to show you how to make it three ways using the same base as the classic Palm Pear Champagne Cocktail, the Palm Pear Mocktail, and the Palm Pear on the Rocks. But first, we have to make our base. So now it is time to shake things up. We post videos every week on how to make your home cocktails not only taste better, but look better too. So do us a favor and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because you'll get notified every time we post a new video. And if you're enjoying this video, hit the like button. So the first step in creating the Palm Pear, no matter what iteration you're making, is the base. So in a large glass pitcher, I'm going to take 20 ounces of pomegranate juice. And then we're going to add 20 ounces of a pear nectar. And to that, I'm going to add eight ounces of a very strong brewed green tea, where I took uh, eight ounces of hot water, four green tea bags, and I let them steep until it cooled to room temperature, removed the bags, and I'm left with a very strong green tea. So eight ounces of green tea. And to that, we're going to add one and a half ounces of a homemade honey lemon ginger syrup. We're going to give this a good stir. And at this point, we can cover this with saran wrap and put it into the refrigerator until we're ready to serve. This is the classic iteration of the Palm Pear. It's the Palm Pear Champagne Cocktail. And I'm going to be serving our cocktail in an elegant Baccarat Narcissus glass. I love the retro style of this glass and how this stem sort of is, is asymmetrical. And I always say the glassware is the cocktail attire for your cocktail, so get your cocktails dressed up for the holidays. So in my Narcissus glass, I'm going to be adding a half an ounce of well-chilled Chopin rye vodka. And I like to use Chopin rye vodka, especially in these sweeter holiday drinks because it has a nice vibrant flavor that really holds up to the other ingredients. And to that, I'm going to add two ounces of our well-chilled Palm Pear mixture. And then I'm going to top it with about two and a half ounces of a good quality champagne. And then to garnish, I'm going to use a little dried pear. You can use fresh pears if you like, but I like the elegance of the dried pear. And then I'm going to add about a spoonful of pomegranate seeds as an additional garnish. And here we have the Palm Pear Champagne Cocktail, all dressed up and ready to celebrate the holiday season. To start, I'm going to take a mixing glass filled with ice, and I'm going to be adding two ounces of our Chopin Rye Vodka. And I like using the Chopin Rye Vodka because it has a vibrant peppery flavor that really holds up to all the other strong ingredients in the cocktail. And then we're going to add three ounces of our Palm Pear Mix. And then using a Boston style shaker tin, I'm going to pour the ingredients into the tin, give a little tap on the bottom of the glass, and give it a good shake. And I'm going to shake until the tin is cold to the touch. This is going to be served over ice or on the rocks, so I don't have to shake it as much as I would if I were making a um, straight up cocktail. There we are. So I'm going to pour it back into the mixing glass, which is the fun of mixing cocktails. We get to see all the beautiful colors uh, that we're creating. And then I'm going to strain it into a glass. And the glass I chose today is the Baccarat Manhattan Double Old Fashioned Tumbler. I like using a fancier glass for a more simple highball cocktail like this, because I always say the glassware is the cocktail attire for your cocktail. And it's the holiday, so let's dress up these cocktails. So I'm going to be pouring it over ice, and I'm going to use a ice sphere. It's a really fun, um, elegant way to serve a cocktail. 
um, also dresses up a simple highball cocktail like this. And I'm gonna strain the ingredients um, in my mixing glass over the ice sphere. Look how stunning it is. And then I'm gonna top it with a dried pear and a spoonful of pomegranate seeds. And here we have the Pom Pear on the Rocks, an elegant cocktail to serve anytime during the holiday season. To serve the Pom Pear mocktail, I'm going to use an elegant Chateau Baccarat flute. I always say the glassware is the cocktail attire for your cocktail, and especially when you're serving a mocktail, you really want to make it an elegant experience. So in my flute, I'm going to add three ounces of our Pom Pear mixture. And then I'm gonna to top it with about two ounces of sparkling water. To garnish, I'm gonna use an elegant dried pear that I'm gonna de delicately dangle on the edge of the rim and top it with a spoonful of pomegranate seeds. Here we have the Palm Pear Mocktail, the ideal cocktail to serve all season long for the entire family. It's not only delicious, but it's nutritious. So oh, here we have the Palm Pear Cocktail three ways. We have the Palm Pear Champagne Cocktail, we have the Palm Pear Mocktail, and we have the Palm Pear on the Rocks. It really is the ideal cocktail to serve during your holiday gatherings that will appease everyone. And there's a little bit of nutrition in every sip. Kinda. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Here's what's next.